How much do people hate Congress? Well, we've given you polls before that show that the American people like cockroaches and Nickelback more than they like our current Congress. But a new poll puts a little bit more evidence on the table of how much people really hate Congress as a whole. Now, Nate Silver's 538 did a survey monkey poll of Star Wars fans in order to find out where the characters rate on favorability. Yes, combining Star Wars and Congress. But wait, stay with me. This is fun. The least popular character was Jar Jar Binks. Now, he had a negativity rating of 37% and a favorability rating of 29%. The rest are neutral or didn't know. Well, you must be wondering, well, how the hell does a Star Wars poll tie into Congress? Well, public polling gives Congress a net rating of negative 57. So Jar Jar Binks, the most disliked character in all of Star Wars, has a negative 8 rating. Now Huffington Post put together this uh, fantastic chart that sort of il illustrates the difference. As you can see, favorable, unfavorable. Massive. Congress is, of course, in the blue, massively unfavorable, barely favorable, somewhere around 12%. And Jar Jar Binks is relatively, you know, relatively stable there. Huffington Post also pointed out that, quote, in the interest of fairness, it's perhaps important to note that the Star Wars poll included an explicit neutral option, which I did mention, which many political polls actually don't. Also, individual representatives, uh, like Jar Jar, generally poll better than Congress as a whole. Now, obviously, this is, we're having a little bit of fun with this. This isn't exactly scientific, but I think it's a good primer of getting people to talk about Congress's popularity versus the rate of re-election. In, uh, in 2010, remember the great throw the bums out era, 85% of incumbents held on to their seats. I guess it really wasn't the throw the bums out era after all. Now, of course, that's a lot, 85% of incumbents keeping their seats. It's a lot because incumbency, as we mentioned, has a huge, huge advantage. And polls point out that most people prefer their own congressmen to other members, and that's why they keep electing them. So, for as far as this poll goes, guys, let's have some fun with this. What do you think? The American people have gone too far. Jar Jar Binks, the cartoon rabbit that ruined Star Wars, really, people? You know, he was actually, he actually replaced a senator, so he's kind of like our congressman, except he talks like somebody... I don't know the un I don't know the politically correct way to say this, but he said Dello Felagets. What the hell is that? He's horrible. He's a cartoon rabbit. He steps in poop. He's there to make babies laugh. Do we really need that in Star Wars? Seriously? What's wrong with you? Jar Jar Binks is awful. And the fact that some people were like, "Oh, I'll be neutral on him." No, 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 no. No. Wrong. You're immoral and you need to stop. Obviously getting a strong reaction from Sean. Sean, are you sure you didn't tell us how you really felt about this? About Jar Jar Binks? He's awful. He should never be there. <laughs> All right. Damn George. you, George Lucas. Hand shot first. I mean, this is the... Uh... This is, is the, the, the logical end game. Uh, whenever we elected Darth Vader... Uh, as our vice president in 2000, uh, it only follows that a Star Wars character would become, even the worst Star Wars character, would become more popular than our government. There was a full poll that actually did, you know, looked at all the different characters. Uh, it's no surprise, Luke Skywalker was voted most favorable. But what I'm surprised, I actually liked, and, and I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I liked the character of the Emperor. He was evil, and that was kind of awesome. The Emperor is the only character who appeared in the prequels that was kind of not tainted by the prequels when he became the Emperor. So, he is awesome. Secondly, Han Solo, not more popular than Luke Skywalker. I'm pretty surprised about that since... Like, he's actually yeah. second or third. Third. Like, 100% of all dudes want to be Han Solo. So, I don't, I don't what, understand. What, I, what I'm surprised is that 
is is that Boba Fett wasn't higher on this list. He was actually near the bottom. Well, Boba and Fett Anakin was Skywalker. Him. Anakin Skywalker was above him. Boba, Boba Fett is the most overrated character in the Star Wars universe. Like they <laughs> they had to like work so hard to make him cool after he lasted 30 seconds and got eaten by a hole in the ground. Then in the expanded universe, they had to make him all BA and bring him back. Yeah, it, it, it's, he's overrated. But, yeah, the big scandal here is the fact that Han Solo is not at a 100% approval rating. Like, who voted on this thing? The Emperor? Hey, hey let's be fair. He's pretty close. I, I think I think Han was ruined by the fact that Harrison Ford did that last Indiana Jones movie, which again, George Lucas, you're horrible. Um, also, Boba Fett fell into a giant vagina, for the record. I mean, <laughs> go watch the clip; everybody knows it. And he was ruined by the prequels, like all the stormtroopers are Boba Fett. Like you had to take a character that was kind of a niche character that everybody liked, and then made and then just cloned him a bunch of times. Really, that's the best you could do. So yeah, awful, horrible, George Lucas, you ruined every every character from the original trilogy that's in the prequels, with the exemption of the Emperor, when he's like has face when he has his face melted, was completely ruined. You're horrible, Lucas. Nobody will forgive you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's get to the Congress angle of this then. Let's get a little serious in the politics. Uh, part of this, now that we've had a little bit of fun uh, in Star Wars lore, by the way, Star Wars is fucking awesome, uh, so if you disagree, sad day for you. Um, so let's, once again, let's get to the, to the how Congress is, to the issue of how Congress is so unpopular, but yet continues to continue get, to get reelected. Sean, let's, let's, la let's have you uh, tackle that one, too. Oh, um, Han shot first, and um, yeah, so um, the the Congress, they keep getting elected. There's obviously the incumbency advantage, um, the name recognition, like all those things that go with being an incumbent congressman or congresswoman since, you know, modern day and age. Um, so they, they keep getting elected despite the fact that nobody likes them as a whole. We all, we all hear that people say that... Um, you know they 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 don't like uh, they don't like Congress as a whole, but they like their particular representative. Like that's a factor. Also, um, what's a big factor is the gerrymander districts. Like you, unless you're voting in a Republican primary, since the Democrats don't do primaries because they're cowards, um, then you're not really having an election in a lot of these districts. Like let's keep it real. Like they're they're not competitive. Like for for uh, cer certain times, like uh, Republicans have to run Todd Akins to lose congressional races, and I realized that was a senatorial race, but they basically have to run the Jar Jar Binks of the Republican Party in order to lose a congressional race, which apparently people would vote for Jar Jar because they're wrong and immoral. I see, that's sort of the best part. Not the wrong and immoral part, but the part about not primarying people on the left. left you're right, I've never heard of the left primary anyone from the left. Normally, if you're going to get some sort of challenge, you get it from somebody who's a little bit more right-wing on some sort of issue. It's absolutely ridiculous, and if we want to have any sort of victories, we do need to start primarying people from the left, but everybody's afraid of, oh, don't, you know, don't, don't do the primary. You might put up somebody who's too left-wing, and that's going to scare the crap out of everybody. No, you're not. People actually want somebody a little bit more. People actually want somebody who's progressive, on issues, and that doesn't just go along with the neoliberal bullshit centrist democratic, or I should say center-right democratic party that we currently have. 